Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be building the cheapest possible house that I can that still has everything in it so it's still going to have a computer, a bookshelf and a TV um, but I'm trying to keep it as cheap as possible because I wanted to like kind of have a starter house that I'm going to do a bit of a playthrough with and I'm going to um, I guess kind of do one where I build my way up and like work my way through from the cheapest possible house that I could have built and could have owned to a more expensive one and like work my way out the career ladder and stuff like that with a bit of drama thrown in there as well. So hopefully you guys like the idea of that and um, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'm just trying to make it also pretty small because I figure the smaller the rooms and stuff the less we're paying for the actual building of the room so it's going to be cheaper. Then when I was looking for uh, like wallpaper or paint and flooring as well, I tried to have a look to see what the cheapest was, but it looks like most of the cheap ones were all around four simoleons per square. So I just went with those ones. And then um, I also tried to keep it like a starter home, as I said before. So it's going to be as cheap as possible for the like 20 thousand simoleons I think you start with um, and I think this ended up being around 12 but I show you the exact amount um, at towards the end of the video at the end of the video um, so I was just kind of work the sink and everything the way I wanted to again keeping with the theme of it being quite quite small um, obviously this is for one person you could just slightly extend the bedroom or get rid of the bookshelf which I put in later and or maybe I've already put it in I'm not sure um, and make it like a double bed for two people but I'm just going to be starting off with one and then have the meter sim along the way or something like that we'll see see how that ends up panning out I really liked the idea of having like darker walls and a lighter floor because you tend to see it the other way around and I um, quite like a bathroom that has the darker walls and the lighter floor so I ended up going with this and I'm keeping a very blue theme which I didn't notice when I was building it but yeah apparently I've got the um, the blue bed and the blue bath mat and I think later on I put in a blue sort of green fridge too so keeping with a very blue and neutral theme. Now it took me longer than I would like to admit to find a table that uh, could hold a TV. So you see that now I just put it, ended up putting it on a coffee table, like the cheapest TV you can get and um, and a really cheap love seat. Um, I was also trying to like work out a fun way to have the front of the house but I just couldn't really figure it out. I ended up changing it a little from this. Um, it's a bit of a weird shape, hopefully you guys don't dislike the shape of the house too much. but. Yeah, it was um, something a little bit fun. I also played around with the like bricks on the outside quite a bit. I initially went with these ones, but didn't like the pillars it put on the corner. So I ended up going for one that just like wrapped around without those, um, which you'll see a little bit later on. Yeah, so I didn't like here how the windows kind of like overlapped with that pillar section so I ended up um, kind of changing everything around. I looked for a door that had glass around it so it was like a little bit bigger but didn't end up liking any of those so I went for this brick that actually doesn't have those um, corner pillars. Changed all the windows around. I just kept changing everything so hopefully that isn't too boring or too annoying for you guys but yeah I just um, kept going for what I felt looked the best and changing colors and ended up coming up with something which I thought was pretty cute. So while I'm just kind of like working on the outdoor, I uh, might talk to you guys about this let's play that I'm thinking of doing. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for any drama or any storylines you'd like me to follow, then please let me know in the comments below. I think it'd be really fun to um, do something quite drama filled and quite scandalous if you guys are up for that. So let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, 
yeah, I'm really excited to do something a little bit different because I've only done challenges and um, just the speed build of my apartment so far. So hopefully a Let's Play goes down pretty well with you guys. So now I'm going to start on the kitchen. I kept the kitchen really simple with just like some bench space because obviously Sims need a lot of bench space to be like chopping up and everything. I went with the um, non-grimy bench tops because I know you can get the used ones but I don't like how they look all grimy. I played around with the colours of the fridge quite a bit as well which you can see me doing now. I did end up going just for a um, bluey green one because I thought that looked pretty cool and it ended up giving me the blue of the house. And um, I'm not sure if I kept the stove that color, but yeah, I just kind of like tried to match everything in. Played around with the sink for quite a while as well. And then I kept it really like basic with all the decorations and stuff. I can sort of add to the decorations as, oh, I forgot I didn't end up going for a blue fridge. I don't think, maybe I didn't, okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I just kind of added in like one plant and, um, oh that's right, I went for the blue stools. One plant beside the fridge and then also I think I got rid of the um, utensils on the bench there and put a plant in instead. Um, and then yeah, so I moved on to the dining room after that, which you'll see me going to now. I tried to keep everything with like a bit of a... A blue theme that's why you'll see me change the color of this plant now but then get rid of it completely because I didn't like it for the dining room I decided to keep it pretty plain or the dining table I guess it's not really a dining room um, and I put three chairs just like in case I have anyone over and we need a little bit more seating area because there is only like the two I guess there's the bar stools at the um, kitchen as well But there's only the two like sofa seats and then the bar stools And so I added a couple more dining chairs as well in case people want to sit down and eat And I didn't really add any like rugs or anything like that because they are things that I'll be able to add to the game later as I like I don't know remodel the house. I guess I could do a bit of renovations to it and extensions and I think that would be really fun but just as like a starter I figured this was a good way to go. I wanted to create a little bit of like a front porch area where you kind of come up the stairs and I played around with the columns for a while and then put the roof on and then moved the foundations up and then the columns didn't match anymore so I had to play around quite a bit. I played around quite a bit with the roof as well because I didn't like the way it overhung if I did it as a full block. Um, so yeah, you'll see I end up picking a different roof and I also put the roof on the ground there. I'm not sure why I did that. Um, but yeah, so I just played around with the roof for a while, um, which you can see me doing. And I just, yeah, couldn't work it out for ages and then I did end up working it out and I quite liked the way the roof turned out. So I believe this is the roof I ended up going with. Um, I ended up making it one space bigger on either side because it kind of looked a bit funny being flush against the wall and having that um, little front porch roof as well. So I think it looked a lot better when I added that extra square out. And then I um, put the foundations up like I said before and then obviously the columns didn't mix anymore so I had to build a room and then put the foundations up for that as well and it ended up working out all right and I think it actually looked pretty good in the end. So you can see now that there's like a slight gap between the columns and the roof. So I ended up 
building the wall around which put the foundation up but then deleting the um, actual walls um, and that ended up working out really well and then I added some cute little steps up into the front porch area which I can obviously decorate with like plants and stuff later on when we um, get a bit more money and start decorating the place up putting a bit more plants out the front and everything so thought it was pretty it turned out pretty cute for the price we end up paying for it Yeah, so you can see here that it's 12,231 simoleons. I um, ended up giving it the homey, good lighting, natural lighting, and also the uh, penny pixies, because then you can kind of like find some pennies around the place as well, which I figured would be good for when we're starting out. So there you have it. That's the finished product. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're keen for our Let's Play, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.